Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. You guys, how's everybody doing? All right, let's get into your reading. Just remember, as I always say, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take with fits. Don't try to force it. All right, let's get into this. See what these messages are going forward from the time you're listening to this reading going into August. Okay, love messages for Virgo. And if you are a member of my channel, or if you haven't become a member yet, please consider joining. One of the perks you will receive is you will get early access to my readings here on YouTube before they go live to the public. And also you can join my Facebook group. It's a private group, okay, where you can connect with everybody. All right, let's see. Okay, healthy choices, lovely. Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-care, self-love, being happier. Good, well that's a good way to start. Good way to start for you, Virgo. Okay, got the hammer. <laughs> Rebuilding. Being persistent. Working on healthy lifestyle. Working on self-love, self-care. Making a decision every day to be happy, no matter how hard it is. It's really hard, I know, for some of you to be present and mindful in the moment when the moment feels awful. So it's really up to you to try to find something in your day or in your present moment that you can be grateful for no matter what it is and that will really help lift you just a bit it's just a matter of practicing gratitude rather than I'm hearing looking at the negatives rather focusing on what you don't have focus on what you do have and what you can work with okay so you're rebuilding something here okay Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfect. Okay. So, hmm. You're definitely rebuilding your heart, rebuilding, meeting yourself. That's what I feel like this is. The one. Meeting the one. Who is the one? The one is you. Who is the one? The one is you, Virgo. Okay. Getting together with self. Seeing yourself as a perfect, lovely, wonderful human being. Okay, and taking that hammer and, <laughs> you know, nailing that to the wall. Like, I am amazing. I am awesome. I am good. I am wonderful. Because that's true about yourself. And, and this is just a term. Um, it's, you know, it, it's, it's just about, like, recognizing and telling yourself you are worthy. So that key heart with a key that's an energy of like you have the key to unlock your heart opening up your own heart this feels like a very healthy healing reading for you virgo so if you're going through something very difficult this is a time to get together with self and shut off those outside the outside interference from people places and things that give you messages that you are not worthy or you are not good enough because that those are lies those are lies okay let's take a look and see what okay past position death so something ended in the past okay um hmm. transformed transitioned changed um this is a scorpio card so some of you might have had a connection with this uh, uh someone with scorpio in their chart somewhere um an ending uh, could have been sudden or unexpected upheaval and there was a release and for some of you it might have been a spiritual transformation or a change okay so that's the past energy presently okay here you are there you are that's the virgo card the eight of pentacles is building and this is what we're talking about here starting the process of building creating using that hammer like i said because you have the hammer for some of you this is like you're starting a new job oh i hope this gets clear 
Okay, give me a second. My camera just, all right, bear with me. Just listen to the audio. Starting a new job, self-employment, building, business, trade, your reputation, rebuilding your reputation, craftsmanship, quality, uh, becoming a master, an expert at something, working hard, committing to self, dedicating to self, concentration, and success. Okay, what is what is crossing you here, Virgo, presently? Okay. Hmm. Well, there's some information. Now, this is typically with the Eight of Wands regarded as good news. Okay. But I feel like because you're so focused maybe on what you're doing in your life at this time or what's going on, um, you may miss this, okay? Or you may not be ready to receive something here from someone or external to you. It would be good for you, Virgo, to look up from what it is you're doing and take a, a small little break to um, maybe do some traveling or get away for a little while, go on a vacation or it could just be like, take a break, Virgo, get out of the house, go for a hike, go for a walk, um, do something other than, because as long as you're consistent with your building and you keep doing that, that's good. But I feel like there's some news coming in about movement or taking some action. Let me see, something exciting, freedom, for some of you, it could also be somebody coming in here, meeting the one. You may not be ready to open your heart to someone. Let me see. Holiday romance, possibly. Let's see, something taking off. Okay, let me get a little more clarity. Um, actually, no, I just feel like it would be good for you to just take a break from work or whatever you're creating or doing and take some kind of a trip or if there's an opportunity which I see coming in here it might be a challenge for you but you need to do this okay because that's part of your healing you know um, the, re the rebuilding process the growth happens when we're at rest right um, it's kind of like when we're lifting weights, you know, when we're lifting weights, the growth happens after we lift, after we rest. That's where the most, most growth occurs because when we're working, we're, you know, we're getting in there and we're, we're messing about with things. But when we take that break, that's when we begin, that's when things really build during the break time, not during the work time, the work you the work and the energy that you put into something today shows later. Okay. So yeah, there's some news coming in for you. Okay. It's positive. Might be an invitation. It's going to come in quick and fast for you to free yourself up. Um, go do something, do some traveling, maybe connect with someone. Let's see what's driving you this time. Okay. So, mm, you've got the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, some of you might just f be really working be for financial reasons, like working extra hard. Maybe you're facing some financial hardship or you're trying to prevent that from happening. Um, you've had a negative change in circumstances or you're feeling, uh, you might be feeling kind of like, alone or left out in the cold some of you are keeping busy with your work um, as a form of maybe therapy it's therapeutic or some social connection um, you know this recession there's a bit of a recession so some of you I feel like are no I can't take this break I can't I have to keep working I have to keep working and I can't stop I can't take a break you know, but this is a struggle here because this is your mental health. Remember, making healthy choices in love and in life. You have to self-care as well, okay? So you're definitely trying to keep yourself from a struggle here, all right? Whether this is in love or just, you know, 
For some of you, it could be just along the lines of you're working very hard because of some sudden, some sudden or unexpected change that happened in the past. You're diving into your work. I feel like people are like, no, 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 come on, come out with us. And some of you just don't want to, you know, I don't know, not go out and have a good time. Maybe there was someone passed away in your past. There might be a sense of guilt or an energy of like, you know, you just burying yourself in your work um, because you feel lost. Some of you just feel lost, whether it was an actual someone passed away or when it was, or it was just an ending of a very um, loving relationship or something fell apart. Yeah, look, you have, this is what they're saying. You have the Nine of Wands. So this is like the wounded warrior here. Your ongoing battle, you're battle weary, drained of energy. I mean, you're close to getting out of this, you know, because it's a nine um, and you have a very strong backbone. I feel like you're learning from some type of past situation and gathering your strength, but you're, you're not quite there yet. We have Sagittarius, Taurus, energy, Scorpio, Virgo. So, you know, your mindset is like, you're still looking back on the past. It's still affecting you. And I think that's just part of some kind of grieving process that you're going through right now. You know, you're still looking back at the hurt and the pain you're bandaged up your battle you have battle scars okay and um you're you're just staying you're not even looking around you you're just very, staying very focused on getting in the day to day the day to day okay um just make sure you know i think some of you might be sabotaging yourselves also so be careful that you don't close up too too much okay yeah needing to open your heart needing to get together with people with people who love you or people who are close to you um but i feel like your persistence to just avoid relationships or opening your heart maybe you're not avoiding relationships some of you could just be like fearful to open your heart again because these cards are really speaking to me um about you feeling like in a poverty mindset and your boundaries are up and you're you're still healing you're still wounded okay let's see what's coming forward in the near future here for you okay so you have the four of swords so there's rest yep this is it virgo coming up in august you're going to need to take a time out okay and if you don't do it it's going to be forced on you maybe you have a vacation or something coming out solitude rest relaxation that's what i said if you stay constantly pushing and pushing and pushing you're going to deplete yourself and you will be forced to rest or you can make the decision you're get, you're going to get some kind of invite cupid's arrows perhaps or someone rushing in take a trip with us or me go on a holiday um let's just take off let's just go um let's depart go somewhere um you need to recuperate you need to regroup you need sanctuary. You need quiet, peace. Because you're overwhelmed. Or you have mental overload. Okay? Very important that you not get into workaholic mode, Virgo. Where you get to the place where you're like completely detached from any social... Um, experiences with other people like joyous all right so let's take a look and see what your advice is right now oh cards are falling oh wow wow okay 
you have the lovers and then you have the four of cups all right your advice here is don't refuse any offers okay but think about anything that comes in there's love here this is connection this is vulnerability this is opening up okay the lovers is soulmate kindred spirits perfect unions partnerships relationships romance sexual connections shared values major love decision and with that four of cups it feels like there's apathy you might feel a little bit depressed about love at this time in your life maybe you're bored okay your advice here i feel like is when someone comes in and makes you know when love walks in here an offer okay this doesn't have to be well any kind of love offer the ace of cups is like a blessing the ace of cups is like something that comes in and makes you feel enjoyable happy it's like a key emotional uh, development or change or plan if something like that comes in as they do okay don't deny it make a decision to connect and lovers could be with a lover could be a romantic you know it could even be for some of you like a date just to i feel like there's a need here to balance out your your self-love and your work and the things you're doing you're healing you're rebuilding also with social connections you know even if you don't want to connect with somebody right now or you feel like you would be a kind of a debbie downer <laughs> um go anyway have a couple of drinks just throw your cares to the wind you don't have to have drinks whatever have a meal do something throw your cares to the wind and just rest relax and just focus on letting go just focus on letting go make a plan even if you don't get an invite make a plan and invite someone to go with you for some r and r i don't care if it's down the street <laughs> i don't care if it's just at the beach or at a resort maybe it could just be a spa or a massage whatever it is connect make a decision because that apathy and that feigned disinterest will actually become embedded in your soul where it like the tapes will play over and over okay i don't have hope for love i don't feel like i feel like if whoever i'm with is gonna let me because you're kind of you know you're you're bat you're you're wounded from something in the past um don't let that overtake you don't let that kill your spirit okay let me see what's external to you here virgo oh okay hmm so you've got <laughs> wow nine of pentacles independence success financial stability rewards thriving high status okay let's see who is this you could be meeting another could be connecting with another virgo for some it could be a gemini or a cancer let's see someone who's single could be a friend It could be a love interest. Let me see. Okay, Nine of Swords. Okay. Hmm, huh, that's interesting. And the Three of Wands. This feels to me like um, two people here, okay? You and this person. Um, this person sits here with a lot of um, 
unhappiness. I feel like, um, Virgo, I feel like in August, you're going to get an invitation from a friend. Um, this doesn't really feel, it could be, it doesn't feel romantic, but, but it could turn to that later. But this feels like somebody saying, let's go away. Yeah, let's go somewhere in where it's sunny and nice, good weather. Um, this person is single. Okay, we've got Leo energy here. Aries, this person is coming through. I feel like it's an invitation. I'm stressed. You're stressed, Virgo. Let's get together. Let's do something. Let's make some travel plans. You might be traveling, going somewhere. It could be a foreign land. Okay, somewhere where the weather is beautiful. There's positive energy, freedom, fun. There's like a, um, a refreshing sense, getting some confidence, feeling joyful, vitality. A place where you can express yourself, and feel happy. There's an openness here. Okay. Um, now you might get some communication from someone where they tell you they think they might be pregnant. They're not sure. They're really stressed. Let's go away. Let's just get out of Dodge. <laughs> Let's do something that's, um, let's connect. Yeah, that's what I feel like is happening here. Um, you might be kind of like, oh, I don't know if I can get away. I'm not sure, but at, your advice here is to do it. Because I feel like somebody here is going to keep inviting you. Now, could this be a lover? Let's see, could this be a lover? Could this be someone? Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, for some of you, this could be new love, okay? This is someone who's an admirer. You might get a message from an admirer, you know? And this tower energy, for some of you, it's, it's an orgasmic kind of getaway. <laughs> I laugh like I'm 13. <laughs> I'm so silly. Like in a, um, an orgasmic kind of, you know, woo. A little bit of um, some sexual connection for some of you here. Just like, um, you know, or just playful intimacy, playfulness, that kind of thing going on here. All right. And some of you are like, I don't know. I don't know. But you're going to be pursued someone's pursuing you here um, again Pisces uh, could be Aries or Scorpio let's see okay Ooh, there's judgment okay um, hmm. yeah for some of you this is um, for some of you this is a reconnection with someone and for others there's it's just like a renewal this this person I feel like um, you know if it's not a love connection if it's just a friend you could be reconnecting with a friend you know who is just kind of like I'm I did they just oh my goodness this, so I'm I must have a spirit from like the 80s or something they just gave me an image of Thelma and Louise <laughs> please don't go on a crime spree please don't kill people Okay, but there's this needing to get away and just go wild and just go crazy, whether this is with a lover or a new love connection um, or somebody. Yep, here you go. Six of Swords. This is travel. I'm getting into calmer waters. Healing. This is going to be a very healing thing for you. This is going to kind of, if you feel numb or you feel like unhappy this is a little bit of a dopamine hit and it's something that i feel like is just gonna it's something you needed it's it's going to give those feel good feelings for two people here and i just feel like some of you need to escape and run away and this person definitely okay this is a travel card let me see what your your hopes and wishes are here your hopes and wishes Okay, Knight of Pentacles. 
So you definitely, as far as love goes, if you're going to meet somebody, um, you definitely want something that's going to be practical and someone who's responsible. You're looking for someone who's protective, um, conservative a bit, ambitious, steady, that kind of energy. This is Capricorn. Um, you're looking for, like you like routine, but you know what? I feel like you fear that you're, that might be all what your life is about. There might be comfort and routine for you, Virgo, but I'm feeling like you need to be spontaneous and just break out of that shell for a minute and go have some R&R &R with someone, a friend or a lover, okay, or a possible date or someone who admires you. There's a, like a sweet text message of some sort coming in or you get an invite to go somewhere you know Cupid's arrows can be the crush card um you know the eight of wands so let me see how things are going to turn out here oh possibly turn out okay Ooh. wow let's see page of swords I don't know why that's there. Oh, okay. All right. So they're just telling me that <laughs> I feel like Virgo, I feel like if you deny this, somebody's going to be very persistent with you. If you say, no, I'm, I'm not going, I can't go. Somebody's going to be very persistent um, and to get you to go. Okay, they're going to be persistent to get you to meet, to connect, to get together with them. Okay, because they want it as much as you do. And I do feel like you'll, you'll be hesitant, right? You'll be hesitant. Because um, I feel like you're kind of going to be like, well, you know, you're going to be very practical. Virgo, enough. Like, you just need to break out of this. Just make the plan and go and just connect with somebody. Okay, even, listen, <laughs> Virgo, some of you are like, I'm not getting back with my ex, but some of you are going to do it. And some of you are like, I'm not getting back with my ex, but somebody new is, or somebody that I know or I've been talking to is reaching out and just go just do it throw your cares to the wind you need to be spontaneous at this time because I, I worry that you're going to get too into like this routine too rigid um, because of something that happened in the past all right so I feel like there you go ace of cups so I feel like August is going to be a time um, and I know August it's summer and I know um, well at least in the north northern hemisphere and i know a lot of you some of you might have kids or you're planning for getting ready for the fall but august is like the end of the summer do something before the summer ends that's just going to give you that make a memory spontaneous memory with a person place or a thing or a friend or something you know even if it involves <laughs> You know, I know, I, I'm not even going to say it because some of you are like, well, I don't do that. Well, I'm not telling you to go have a one night stand with someone. I'm, I don't like, I'm not giving you my personal opinion. That's up to you. But I feel like if, even if it doesn't include that, just having some, because you're stressed here, you're too focused on your work and your wounds. Um, and work can be therapeutic, but like I said, you need some R&R. &R. There's potential here for a beautiful, like I said, that Ace of Cups. Remember, here it comes in, and somebody's going to be persistent with giving their cup to you. Here it is, one after the other after the other. And your arms are crossed. You're kind of like, you know, either you're blocking and defensive, or you're just trying to self-soothe because you feel uncomfortable with love or even maybe having a new love start, um, you want it, but then when it comes, you're like, oh, I don't know. Um, maybe because you're, there was some kind of hurt or something happened in the past, some kind of hurt that happened in the past. 
All right, let me see. Let's take a look and see. I'll get a couple of messages here and see what other messages. Okay, look at things differently. Sometimes you have to let go of old notions. Even though you may feel stuck, it's just an illusion. Try seeing the situation from a positive perspective. There's a silver lining to everything. A slight change in view can and will make this predicament easier. All right, that's very much hanged man energy. Okay, what else do you have? Okay, yeah. Hitting rock bottom. So Virgo, I feel like for you, this is something you're gonna have to surrender. Like surrender to the spontaneity and just say, what the F it? Just go do it, whatever it is, okay? Love, trip, travel, new love start. There you go. Just go do it, Virgo. Just break out of the monotonous, rigid routine of your life. I know there might be comfort in that. I know you have to work. I know you have to do. But you know what, damn it, Virgo? Plan that trip. Go do that thing. And if you get invited somewhere, go. I don't care, <laughs> Virgo, I don't care. Just go do what you need to do. Make a memory. Let me see what the Chinese sign is here for this person. Are you? Okay, year of the dog, year of the snake, year of the tiger, pig, dragon, horse, rat, and dragon twice snake twice okay ox all right so if that's you that's specifically a message for you should hit home even more or it could be you or it could be the other person okay which if you know who they are or it could be both of you right um let me see what you are oh there you go leap of faith it's safe to make the move you're considering okay that showed up right away and that's what I was saying, be spontaneous, okay? Children are important to this partnership. And I feel like this is more about like you getting in a position of embracing your inner child and going to the playground, <laughs> being playful. Remember I said, and going and having fun, whatever this r, &R is. Go to the tropics, go to an island, you know, go visit somewhere, just R&R, &R, break the hell out of your daily day-to-day -day. you need that refreshing new look refresh your spirit okay be patient everything will unfold in the divine timing and have acceptance everything happens for a reason whatever this thing is happening in your life there's a purpose and probably to cause you more growth than you've ever experienced in your life okay so and also all right this is somebody new coming in or someone connecting to reconcile or a friend or a lover go slow with them just have fun take the time to get to know each other don't rush anything okay and we're gonna do one more okay soulmate all right this this is this is a soulmate connection this is someone coming in here who you are going to gel with on all levels this is like part of this is someone part of your soul tribe this is like your person right soulmate relationships are so awesome they're so much fun they're easy they're relaxing um, with soulmates and this is a soulmate connection right here and this person is going to pursue and push you and and you know entice you to go to meet up to connect with them and i feel like your message here is you should embrace this all right virgo i'm gonna leave your reading there hope you enjoy that just remember if you guys my moon pie tarot channel um i'm uploading daily collective messages there so feel free to go over there subscribe to the channel and um, get also daily messages there and uh, don't forget join my channel so you can get early access to my videos when I upload them before they go live to the public. And don't forget to join my Facebook group. It's a private group. Um, I will put the link in the membership and I will also post it on the community tab for members only. All right, you guys, so have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.